This is MRR Collects. Today we're going to be showing you notes from my binders. This is uh, binder one, part one. Uh, I've pulled them out into sleeves so that I can show you the fronts and backs without just flipping the pages. I'm not saying that's bad, but uh, I would like you to see the design features of each note front and back in order. And um, this way I don't, I don't touch the notes themselves. Uh, my hands were clean. Paper is a little more forgiving than coins as far as touching. Uh, as long as you make sure your hands are clean, um, I don't think you're going to do much damage on a on an uncirculated note. Uh, as long as you know, obviously being careful uh, not to crease it, fold it, ripple it, uh, corner ding it. Uh, you know. Uh, so we're going to start at A. So this is Algeria uh, with a hundred. Um, these are dinars. I could be wrong. Uh, I really should look up the units before I get going on these, but it's late. It's on Saturday night. It's how I spend my Saturdays. Um, so we're, we're going to flip through this fairly fast. That's 100. There's 200. Actually, I noticed that uh, the design in the uh, in the whited out area for the for the watermark, but that's kind of cool. Actually, looks nicer in the camera than it does. Uh, than I've noticed before. Again, kind of a unique design for the country. It, it almost seems a little plain. Um, I'll show you on the 500 here, where they don't really fill up the whole note with uh, with all kinds of designs. Now we do have the holographic strip, um, which is very nice. And you know, it's a newer note. Um, obviously, <laughs> there's a there's a long history in Algeria, so it's. Um, I had older bank notes. Uh, again, um, definitely a country. I, 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 if I find good notes from them, I'll definitely pick them up if I don't have them. Next up is uh, Angola. It's a newer series. They've really stepped up their game. Game, excuse me. Um, I really like the designs on their new notes, and they seem to be um, emphasizing waterfalls in the country. And so this is a five Kwanzaa. Hey, likes when it says it on the note. And here's 10. Uh, pretty cool um, designs in, in the... And I do like that they left it a little blank, or a little... They don't... They didn't fill up... Well, put as much stuff as they could in the notes. So here's another waterfall. Don't know which waterfalls these are. That's the other thing is I, I'll... You know, when I slow down, I will look at these later and, and um, take note. And here's 50. And I'll also be looking at uh, completing the series. Uh, again, these are in, in sets of three because they're from the pages, or six, um, just depending on how much I've collected that country. So really nice notes, and you can see a little bit of a counting mark, or um, it's either a counting mark or where the strip, no. These metallic strips, when they apply them, sometimes people would call that damage, but it's just, it's just the note, it's how it's made. Um, so Argentina, uh, really, really kind of nice newer series. The lower denomination notes seem to be of a different design than the higher denomination notes. These seem to be more historical. And then the higher denomination notes seem to be more um, natural scenes. And so we do have uh, uh, horses are again. Oh, well, there's even better on the back and so it's 10 very nice looking notes uh, I do have some of the there are, I don't know if it was a as a inflation note but um, Argentina does have some cheap notes that usually end up in the um, multi-country starter packs um, that have obviously been demonetized uh, this is the Falkland Islands commemorative I actually don't have any notes from the Falkland Islands, except for this one. Uh, again, for the longest time, they weren't really available. Another awesome, that's a better horse on the back. Um, but uh, uh, again, it's kind of uh, when you when you're not when you don't have any connections with any banks and you're and you're buying off the internet, it's really it can be a little interesting tracking down uh, the notes you want because availability. 
Um, that's why I, I have about a half a dozen buyers that I have have trued and tested. Some of them are better price, but they don't have the, the variety. Some of them are higher price, but you're willing to pay for it because they're, they're harder to, to come by in decent condition. Now, all of these notes are in uncirculated condition, and I would say uh, probably definitely 64 or better. Uh, this one was actually what attracted me to this. Um, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, 200 pesos. Um, humpback whale breaching. It's kind of a little odd because of the way the humpback is looking. They probably could have... I, I don't know. Uh, it, it's still nice. Uh, again, whales in themselves are a collectible, um, a collectible area. And they're putting more and more countries are putting um, whales on their notes. To highlight uh, those animals and then this this is actually very beautiful with the, I'm gonna assume uh, I would assume that that's lavender I don't know probably of course once I read this in can I um, can't really see it right now but uh, uh, really nicely stylized stands out from the rest of the notes so that's that's uh, definitely cool in my book and along with um, the 500 with the color shifting inks the security thread and the um i'm not gonna say leopard jaguar i'm, I'm thinking jaguar on this one uh, are they gonna tell me i don't know big cat it's a big cat i know it's not a mountain lion because we have those and i don't want to i don't want to meet one in a dark forest anyways um anyways uh the back is very nice as well um Again, a little more spendier in the series. It's higher denomination, but definitely worth having. I don't have the Brazil 50, I believe, has a, has a Jaguar on it, Big Cat. So I'm assuming it's either a Leopard or a Jaguar. I forgot my zool. I haven't done my zoology test this week. So Conch Shell. I know it's a Conch Shell. I swear, honest. Um, 10 Florin. I've had this note. Uh, I'm sure it's... Uh, I'm thinking it's an older note... In this series, I know I've had it since probably 2006 or 7. Um, again, they've done it in several years. Uh, oh, the 10 might be a little newer. It's the 5 that's I've had forever. No, yeah, but they've all got the they've all got this metal metallic um, security feature that matches the design. Again, great design, but they've just gone to a newer note in the last few years. So these, I have a feeling, are going to be, you know, they're they're definitely a, a staple in a collection, and um, I just I can't uh, I can't see them ever being uh, <laughs> looked down on. The 25. Now this was a time when I I think I may have gone into a cold sweat. Uh, it was a lot of money for me to spend uh, at the time on one note. Uh, again, <clears throat> I'm married and my wife is mean. No, she's not. But. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I may have gotten a little carried. She kind of keeps me from getting a little too carried away. So it's a good thing. Because, yeah, I would. Um, but the, the rattlesnake, uh, just an awesome design. Uh, it was one of those, you got to have it. Uh, the back is a little... Um, I believe they're the same on the backs, which is kind of... I'm not going to show you that one yet, but... Um, but again, uh, it's uh, it's it's a nice design and it's and it's uh, unique, and so I like that. So you definitely know it's from Aruba. And then the fifty, uh, again, <laughs> probably broke out into a cold sweat again. But owls, uh, you know, there's just I, I'm still uh, I'm still working on getting uh, the hundred. I believe has the frog on it. I want it. I want it real bad. And if I was ever into to collecting fakes, I'd, I'd love to have. But everything in my collection is, I I've strongly, uh, it's not worth. If you got to get a fake one, it's not worth having in your collection. And you know, just even for display, because I'm not a completionist. Uh, I've set up my own rules as far as what I want, what and how I want to collect. I'm not looking down on anybody else for how they do it, but. Um, this is just, 
if it's if your note's worth three thousand, ten thousand dollars, and it's ugly, that's not what I collect. You know, I'm collecting for the design and the visual aspects. If it's worth, if it's demonetized and it's worth nothing, I'll still put it in the book if it's a nice note. Venezuela has very nice looking notes. Too bad they're not worth anything. I, I mean, uh, but I definitely have my fair share of them. Um, Iraqi notes after the war. That's actually kind of what got me started on paper currency. Um, and uh, it's probably the one thing I've really sold off in quantity. I still have some, and we'll show you that when I get to the eyes. But very nice designs, very cool. They came out with high-quality notes to, to uh, encourage stability and acceptance for the population to use them. So they are definitely not a cheap notes. They've got the intaglio printing. Um, they've got all the design features, and they definitely publicize that. But here's five Florin with the sea turtles. Um, this is the first Aruban note I bought, and it does not have the metallic strip. I don't know if it's, that's from the denomination. I think the later ones did have that. But um, I'll have to look up. Yeah, because I think it's 1990. So this is a, an earlier note. Oh. Um, compared but it is and the purple stands out so here is the 10 now this is I believe the lowest denomination now uh, with the sea turtles and they have definitely modernized their design uh, in some ways that's kind of good because this is uh, the design of the previous notes is uh, I, I'm sure that has um, historical re relevance to the culture um, but there's plenty of uh, design work in here in references this is the thing about world currency is that this is a chance for each country to say hey this is what we're about it's what we're proud of it's what identifies us it's what makes us unique and so in in other words it's really in a ways it's advertisement in a way uh it, it's you're telling the world how you want to be seen this is what i would call official artwork of each country so you know it's really your chance to tell the world what you're about because as more people use your currency and and they are gonna obviously notice what it looks like so and I've, I've got up to the 25 at the moment very nice uh, very nice bird in here I like the way they actually did the colors um, with the the shift not shifting but um, with the shadows and, and the, the way that, and the broken, are we a broken pot? Uh, I'm gonna say that pot is broken. But very cool looking, uh, very modernized note, and I would, I'm voting very desirable. Uh, so next up is a monster in the polymer game, which I'll be talking about here in a second, but here's a, one of the, uh, uh, it's one of the first fives I believe it's in the, I'm going to say the previous series. They, they have a new series out, which I'll be showing you in a second. And design work on the back. So really nice and colorful. Early polymer notes. Um, has the, the see-through window. And next up is the 10 in the same series. Uh, the Man from Snowy River. I'm old. <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, but... Uh, Again, it's a guilty pleasure movie of mine. I love, 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 love this movie. It really, uh, it's done so much for Australia as far as, uh, as um, in, uh, increasing interest uh, in the country. And I believe the poem, no, uh, I think part of the poem was on the same side. And then uh, the female figure, again, I'm sorry I don't know this one. But uh, very nice design and colorful, which gives it a step up against U.S. currency any day of the week. Uh, and then the, the highest I've got in this series is 20. Uh, camel. I like camels, and it's kind of funny in the States that um, here they might be a zoo oddity, you know, go have a camel ride. Uh, also, the, the um, very cool early airplane. Uh, not a biplane. Uh, it might be. Yeah, it is a biplane. Okay, I was going for maybe. But um, 
Yeah, I didn't realize it was camel in Australian currency. But on the twenty, uh, a tall ship, uh, an early female figure. I know these people are important. I just don't know every person in the world. <laughs> I got Nelson Mandela and and and, uh, and Gandhi now. Dang it! And Queen Elizabeth, the second. Okay, so this is the new series, or the newest series as of uh, my filming this, hopefully. Uh, they haven't changed it in the last I've heard. But uh, see-through windows from top to bottom. It seems like they're expanding the see-through uh, aspects of the notes because uh, definitely harder to counterfeit. And I've actually seen the Canadian 20s where they have the polymer. I was really surprised, and I know I probably mentioned this before. But uh, I was really surprised that they'd come out with, with as good a counterfeits as they had. But the holographs are just foil-looking strips. They don't have them. So that is probably one of the better ways to definitely check your money. Um, because um, I was actually not happy to find that out. Um, we work hard for our money, you know. And uh, to me, I just... Um, even... Uh, I, I'm debating on whether doing a, a video about these people that take movie money and alter it <laughs> to look. It's basic. It's counterfeit at that point. And I, you know, the, if these people don't think it's counterfeit, uh, I maybe you should ask that Secret Service agent that's about to arrest you. So here's the ten. Again, very nice notes. Very cool. Uh, I did buy more than one. Don't tell the wife. But, um, you know, and again, they're, they're, I could rip this out and go spend it or trade it in or uh, it's still valid currency. And so the real uh, one I want to talk about with Australia is here is the very first polymer note ever produced, 1988. So <clears throat> as I understand it, uh, Australia has the patent on polymer. They have licensed this out to, at this time, somewhere between tw uh, 24 countries was the last uh, figure I saw. It's expanding. So they've licensed out this. Um, I believe uh, they print their own, but Canada... I watched a video on New Zealand, and they get the substrate from Australia because it's patented and it's, and it's made in Australia. Uh, their notes are printed in Canada because Canada has the high-tech printing presses. And so New Zealand banknotes are literally made in two other countries uh, and then shipped off to New Zealand, excuse me. But this is just, you have to have this with the with the Aboriginal um, man up front, the, the design elements, and then the first tall ship uh, to, to hit Australia. To reach Australia in, in this side so it, it's a great note and it's still somewhat affordable um, I don't see that lasting for a long time so because as more people know that this is this is a landmark note to have in any foreign or world currency collectors collection if there's a must-have that's that's uh, that's pretty much it so here we have uh, Bahamas. Yeah, the the cool thing about Bahamas, and normally I don't collect fractional currency, and this would I would consider this a fractional currency, but uh, the design was pretty cool, and um, I got it. I don't feel bad about it. I'll break my own rules. I make them, I get to break them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's a uh, one dollar. Just wanted to make sure it was a dollar on these. Uh, really cool green. Uh, uh, the green foils are kind of cool. Uh, security strips. And then the marching band in the back is uh, is pretty much iconic of the Bahamas. And a uh, very nice design. This is an older series, so that's been replaced by this one, which was an absolute must-have with the awesome uh, floral design. Uh, oh, it's got the map of uh, the islands. So, uh, very good, Bill. And, uh, and the, I'm going to say political figure. Don't know who he is. I do like the uh, the African American or um, uh, the black guy on the front, the black man. 
Um, so <laughs> it's kind of come up in recent uh, history uh, debate about um, try to keep from getting too political here, but um, uh, let's. I'm gonna use African peoples. Uh, do have a history of slavery in the Caribbean islands. Uh, to some extent, it was much worse than the United States. Not, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, not excusing it in any way, shape, or form. But um, so, some people they alluded to that experience as not it being as horrible um, an experience that they didn't have the the slave experience. And I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, they did. So, uh, yeah. Carrying on. Uh, Bahamas $3. And I always love this because uh, the $3 note's not one you see every a lot. Um, maybe Cook Islands. Can't think of any others off the top of my head. So it's a little unique in itself. And then with the sailing scene on the back. Um, again, this one's not hasn't gotten really spendy, but uh, I like it. And I think it's gonna, it's definitely a winner. And here's the latest three dollar with Queen Elizabeth. A little, she's aged a little bit. So that's I kind of like that you get Queen Elizabeth as she ages um, as you go along in the bills. So uh, uh, some people I don't know have made light of it. Really cool vertical design, sailing design here. I'm gonna try to get this in the shot. Um, very nice, very nice. Uh, I would buy a hundred of them, but budgets. <clears throat> hate, you're going to hate the B word by the time I get done with this. Okay, uh, Bahamas five dollars. Great note, great colors, gold foil on the on the tall ship or the sailing ship. Um, great, great design work on the back with the uh, with the the native uh, drums and dancing scene. Again. Notes with uh, indigenous dancing scenes are getting uh, uh, super popular. They're showing up in Sri Lanka, um, uh, uh, Nicaragua, several other countries. But uh, you could almost do a collection just on, on um, scenes of, of people's dancing. Uh, next up, which I believe is the... Nope, two more countries to go. Bahrain, uh, again... Another fractional currency, but they're worth enough that it's um, worth having. Maybe I kind of broke my rule a little bit there. And then looks uh, looks like a airport you know, with the tower. Um, so again, a technology note, its own area of collecting. Uh, Bahrain one uh, dinar. Uh, little plane on the front. And but the back makes up for it with the uh, with the the scene here and the horses. Again, uh, I know a few horse people, so again, good birthday presents, by the way. I think so. And then the Bahrain five dinar note, uh, getting a little up there again. Bahrain is is uh, um, definitely a rich country, and their notes are definitely not in the bargain bin. Really awesome foil, uh, really nice note. And hey, guess what they have? Again, on the technology front, oil wells. And can't quite see what's going on here. I haven't really done the research, but um, technology-based notes. So last country for this one, we'll start off with the two, uh, is Bermuda. Nope, excuse me, Barbados. I, I skipped ahead. Um, I'm going to assume this is a dollar or two dollars. Anyways, the, the back is what you get this for is the windmill. And then the, the swirly, I'm going to assume that these are stylized waves. Um, you know, just required. It's not. It's a lower denomination note, so it's not overly really spendy, but it, uh, it's, it's pretty beautiful. It has purdiness. Uh, again, with the, kind of the same waves. Not much going on in the design in the front, I believe. Different figure, but uh, I think everything else is pretty much... I'm wondering if that's a map of the island. Not sure. And uh, building on the back. This may be their central bank. Um, 
I don't know, but a lot of countries do actually put their set, their central banking building on the backs or on their notes, period. And then the 10, uh, love the mustache. That's a man's mustache right there. Uh, again, the design is, uh, except for the figure, is identical uh, besides the denomination. And then the back with a road scene. I'm thinking a uh, technology scene, but um, again, a nice bill. And that is par that'll conclude part one. So part two will be coming. Have a great day.